To get the logic for checking the 689599.7 rule into your calculator, it's best to use an example. So see what I've done here in blue. Let's pretend we have a data set whose mean is 5 and whose standard deviation is 2. So one standard deviation below the mean, 5 minus 2 is 3. One standard deviation above the mean, 5 plus 2 would be 7. So if the data are normally distributed, or approximately so, we would expect 68% of the data to be within 3 and 7. So what your calculator program is going to do, it's going to take each value from list 1. So let's say there's a 4 in list 1. And it's going to see if that 4 is greater than or equal to this lower boundary, the mean minus the standard deviation, or 3, which it is. And then it's going to check to see if that 4 is less than or equal to the upper boundary of 7, one standard deviation added to the mean, which it is. So if both of those are true, the number 1 is going to get stored into list 2. So if either one of these isn't true, so for instance, let's say there's a 1 in list 1. A 1 is not greater than or equal to 3. Now, sure, a 1 is less than or equal to 7, but it's not greater than or equal to 3. So the number 1 would not be within one standard deviation of the mean. So in this case, a 0 would be stored into list 2. And what your calculator program is going to do, it's going to add up all of the 1s and zeros in list 2. So really, we're just adding up the 1s and comparing to the actual sample size from the sample that's stored into list 1. This will give us a percentage, how much of the data is within one standard deviation of the mean. That's how we'll check the 68 portion of the empirical rule. We can do the same for the 95 and the 99.7 portion of the rule as well. Let's see how we get this logic then into the graphing calculator. So, first we need list 1, second, 1, and we need to see if our value is greater than or equal to, so second, math button, greater than or equal to is option number 4. Open our parentheses. We need the mean take away a standard deviation, variables, Option 5, option 2 is the mean, take away a standard deviation, variables, option number 5, the sample standard deviation is 3, close the parentheses. I need to get the word and in there, but I don't want to type the word and, I need to use the logic operator. So you have to press the second button, math button, right arrow, Option number one is AND. Now I need to get list one in there again. Second one. Less than or equal to. Second. Math. Less than or equal to is option six. Open my parentheses. The mean variables. Option number five. Option number two plus a standard deviation, so plus variables, option number five. The standard deviation is option number three. Close my parentheses, and I need to store this into list two. So to get that arrow, we just press the STO button here, and then list two, second, two, and enter. Enter will take us to the next line of the program, and now we have to display our percentage. To display, program button, right arrow, display is option number three. We need to take the sum of list two, second, stat button, right arrow twice, the sum is option number five. To get list 2 in there, I have to press 2nd and 2, close my parentheses, and now I have to divide by the sample size, division symbol, to get the n in there, variables, option number 5 is statistics, and n is option number 1, press enter. There is the first portion of the program. Try the next video and we'll work on the logic for checking the 95% portion of the rule.